Guys, I'm really excited because I just flipped this cover object and you can see it's almost like a box that sits on top of the ground, a little piece of tin on the top and, and wood sides. But look what was underneath it, a king snake. And so not only are king snakes amazing animals, so these are animals that uh, get quite big, four or five feet long. This is the one that eats other snakes, including rattlesnakes and copperheads and things like that. But let me tell you what's really exciting about it. This may be one that we released. This may be one that we released as a little baby last year or the year before. And so it may have its uh, belly scales clipped, and I'll check for that. I can't really see. But more importantly, we're going to get a really good look at the head, and we're going to go back to our digital photograph collection. And each one of the ones that we released, we took a very good digital picture of the head pattern. And this has got a cool head pattern. But anyway, this may be a recapture. This may be one that was released released either by the staff, the trust staff, or maybe by Spring Island members, because a lot of these were released by members of Spring Island. Anyway, fantastic. I'm going to take it back and figure out who it is. Guess what, guys? We have an update. This is, in fact, a recapture. In fact, this snake has almost doubled in size. It's doubled in mass, and we did release it right here. In fact, it hadn't gone very far from where it was originally released by four kids. We were filming Coastal Kingdom, and Rob, the guy who shoots Coastal Kingdom, his kids came out to help. And also Kristen, our very own Kristen, uh, her kids, uh, Dylan and Fisher, they may have been one of them. We don't know exactly who released it, but we're very excited about this. So what I did is I went back to the Nature Center, uh, I got with Rachel, and we looked at our library of digital photographs, and the head match was dead on. So... This is really, really exciting because one of the things that we want to do is demonstrate that we can augment populations of a species that's declining throughout much of its range. So this is a really neat conservation effort. Anyway, I'm psyched.